I'm going to draw a bat from a photograph. The dimension of my photo is about like this. So this will be like the edge of my picture. So I'm not gonna draw over here. In my photograph, the background is black. I wanna get the proportions correctly. So I'm gonna start with the big shapes. So I've kinda of got like a triangle here. And it's kinda of got like an oval here. And then I've got a long, thin triangle of the other wing. It's kinda of like that. And then with the big, huge ears coming off. So I'm trying to get my proportions correct from the outset. I'm setting up my proportions. So it's kind of making a sketchy drawing. In the photograph, the bat's about to eat a cricket. But it looks something like this. So this is, these are generally my shapes. Now I'm going to go in and refine stuff. So this wing, actually, this wing actually comes up like this more. off. And I'm noticing this. This wing actually comes down further and this comes down further so I have some mistakes in my underdrawing. And this leg should be quite a bit smaller and down here. So now I'm, I'm changing my drawing. And what I'll do is I'll go and I'll race the lines that aren't, that I don't like, that aren't correct. Now I'm getting confused, so I'm going to get rid of my incorrect lines. stuff up. So my proportions are pretty good now. Got, got these fingers. There's the arm of the bats right here. This bat has white fur on its belly. The eyes like here, but the eyes black. This bat actually has a little horn. Here. Looks like the crickets in this picture is in this photograph, it's on a cactus. Alright, so now I'm using the side of my chalk. this wing, I'm going to go ahead and make most of my wing a lighter color. Part of what's fun about this technique is you can work, you can get a lot of results real quickly. And I get this fur here.
Now I'm going to go in and do some smudging. So I want to make this a solid membrane. Just go like that. Here. I want to keep the furriness of this here. Go back in and bring back some of my darks. So I'm gonna erase here. Erase some of my white lines. So now I'm gonna go, there's a bright light right there. Bring back. So I'll keep going, taking away and bringing back. Taking away, bringing back. Instead of blowing, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna knock. Knock it off. The blurriness, the smudginess can really add to the sense of motion. some thin charcoal and some thick charcoal. Charcoal, I'll see which I like more. So I'll start with the thin charcoal. So there's, a, there's some dark darks up here. So this isn't super dark. It seems like. Let's do some, some lines. So that's how that charcoal looks. I'm gonna see, I have a feeling this charcoal will be blacker. Yes, so I like this charcoal better. Just bring a few darks in here. I could use the side of the charcoal. So here's my black, this is my black black. The paper's kind of the gray black and this is just where I need some really black accents. I'm making a big mess here. I'm gonna make sure I clean it up when I'm done. and get some fresher charcoal. This charcoal is all very brittle. The thing I was most concerned, I wanted to get this eye. Eye is very black, big eye. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm pressing really lightly, putting some fur. I'm looking where are the white white areas and where are the gray areas. This should be more like gray here. This should be more, but then right here there's a white white that I lost. So I'm gonna bring it back. So I'm constantly adding, subtracting, adding and subtracting. So I got some distance from this, I, I stood back from it to get perspective on it and I saw a couple things I don't like. There's, there's overall too much white. So I'm going to go in with my eraser and take away some of the, the white.
I thought I was done, but I noticed that this wing looks way too small because it tapers way too much here. So I want to thicken out this wing to imply a bigger wing. While the bat does have striations in its wings, 
they're much thinner than this. So I think I can actually just get rid of these lines to make it look more like a membrane. So I'm just gonna lessen the intensity of these lines. That, that was easy. This is a little distracting. I, so I was seeing these lines in the wing, but they really don't look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth these out. Same with down here, these striations, they're just too thick. So I'm gonna smooth these out. So that'll make this wing contrast more with the furry body. This is the arm. It's right way right here, and then it actually comes up like this. Another line. Totally didn't. This in here is lighter. I could use the side of my chalk. Let me do that. That kind of works. I think I like that. I'm pressing really lightly to get a few veins. Easy way to get some texture using the side of the chalk. Finishing touches to the picture. I'm trying to make it at this point I'm trying to make it look as realistic as possible.
think I might be finally done. 